Welcome to Broadway Profiles. I'm your host, Tamson Fidel. Blair Underwood is an A-list star on the Broadway stage, on TV, and in the movies. And right now, you can see him starring alongside Brian Cranston in the Showtime limited series, Your Honor. Plus, he's also nominated for a Tony for his role in last season's A Soldier's Play. I've got to start off with uh, Your Honor because I sat Sunday night at the edge of my seat watching the second episode of it. And now I know you're a part of it. So Your Honor is a one, it's 10 episodes on Showtime and we don't know if the show's coming back for a second season yet. So I literally do one scene in episode eight as a teaser to set up the second season. Dad, something happened. Oh my God. Listen to me very carefully. You've got your whole life ahead of you. We decide what the truth is. Just to be a part of this cast, it stars Brian Cranston. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, and it's Showtime. It's just a, a, a phenomenal piece of, uh, of entertainment to be a part of, so I'm excited about it. What was it like being on the set? What was the, what were you anticipating versus what it was like being back out there after all these months? You know, first of all, it was, I felt filled with gratitude to be able to work. You know, a lot of production in Hollywood was shut down for about six months. A lot of shows have been shooting for the last three months or so, but uh, this was my first time working that one day I did on Your Honor. So it was, it, was, it, it was exciting in one sense to be able to get on a plane and, you know, you're tested beforehand, as I was saying, you're tested when you land, you're tested before you go to, uh, hair and makeup, then you tested the day you shoot. Um, and by that time, man, I tell you, it just it just felt, by the time they said cut on the final take, you felt like you'd crossed a marathon and say, man, we kind of made it without one person getting sick. Because one person gets sick and they got to shut it down. You know, you and you and Brian do do Broadway, do shows, do TV, do... A lot of people try to do that. I don't know there's there are many people that I say, wow, they can cross over to either one of those you know, uh, forms of, of entertainment and just just kill it every time. No, Tamsin, thank you for saying that. It's it's always been my first love. I've said this for years, and my first professional love is the theater. I started doing local dinner theaters in, in Virginia, in Richmond, Virginia, in high school, and then went to St Car Carnegie Mellon University and, and, and studied music theater, singing, dancing, and acting. So, so just doing a soldier's play. You know, as it turned out, we were the final, the last Broadway play to be up before the pandemic, you know, everything shut. We took the final, our bow on Wednesday, the, the, the 11th. Broadway went black on Thursday, the 12th. So everything was shut down. Take off those sunglasses. I intend to carry out my orders and I like these glasses. They're like MacArthur's. <laughs> you go near that sheriff's office in Tynan in your uniform, carrying a briefcase, looking and sounding white and charging local people, you'll be found just as dead as Sergeant Waters. People around here don't respect the color. I know that. You come from a military family. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, the importance of that thread as you were on that stage? This was a, um, a godsend in a lot of ways, you know, because Parsteg did come from a military family. My father's retired Army Fulbright Colonel, as, as, as you know. Um, so to be able to really explore and, 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 and delve into that world of, of African-American soldiers, in this case, the 1940s, my dad was in Vietnam, but just African-American soldiers in the U.S. military and, and all the, the, the complexities that that brings, you deal with nine African-American characters, two or three white characters, and just what that meant in 1944 in Louisiana and the United States military. Um, I love that because of my father's role in my life, but also as an, as a, as an officer in the 1960s. So to have that and to them, especially on the opening night, to have my father and my mother there, my mother passed away a month and a half ago, but her oh. last her, her last hurrah was opening night on Broadway. She loved, she introduced myself, my brother and two sisters to Broadway, into the theater. I have love for the theater because of her, but to have them both there on opening night, uh, especially now in retrospect, having lost her now, just uh, was incredible. So that that experience, not just opening night, but just to do a soldier's play was, was magical in a lot of different ways. <laughs>